Hi there, Victor Pross speaking to you, anarchist artist. Okay, today we are going to talk about Stefan Molyneux's so-called inner circle with a particular focus on former Free Domain Radio member Colleen Cowgill. Now I've made a few videos about Stefan, I will link those in this uh, video, I invite you to listen. But on to the inner circle and Colleen Cowgill who was a member of the inner circle of the Free Domain Radio site and uh, with whom she had uh, parted ways, most especially parting ways with Stefan Molyneux. It uh, was in the wake of the DMCA controversy that Colleen saw a perfect opportunity to get some exposure. She laid low for a little while, keeping a low profile, but the uh, DMCA controversy uh, plucked up and uh, she uh, used those events to start her bigger than both of me YouTube channel and uh, publicized her FDR experience. Her father Keith Calgill is the creator of FDR Liberated, a very ugly vicious site to say the least and she uh, was not public about this conflict of interest from the very beginning. Uh, Colleen wasn't. She kept a low profile, as I say. But her daddy, dearest Keith, uh, pressured uh, Colleen to uh, public, publicly portray FDR to ensure that uh, she would never defoo from him again. Very clever tactic, I guess. Get the kid to make a public record, a public document of uh, maligning uh, Molyneux, and it kind of lets him off the hook of any uh, responsibility. So as to that, let's get to the back story. In March of uh, 2008, uh, Colleen de defooed from her parents and uh, Stefan uh, Molyneux does caution people to not defoo unless they are entirely certain of their decisions as defooing could uh, cause you to be seen as unstable and discredit any moral stance uh, you once held. But Colleen uh, reunited with her parents. Now, there might be people out there who think, well, that's nice. Uh, he uh, patched up and kissed and hugged and made up, and it says, isn't that nice? Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that when things fell apart with her boyfriend, Colleen's boyfriend, Richard Knitter, Colleen was strapped for cash. She decided that this whole philosophy thing wasn't really working out for her and she chose to uh, refu with her uh, abusive parents. I guess it was just a, a pragmatic move, uh, one of uh, driven by financial uh, necessity. Keith and Mary relieved her of any responsibility and placed all the blame on Stefan Molyneux. Yes, you see, darling, darling daughter, we love you. Uh, you've been brainwashed by that Stefan Molyneux guy. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic, man. Um, the reason why I laugh at this, um, in a free domain radio podcast on sibling abuse, Colleen has said that both she and her brother, Edward Colgell, were physically abused as children. Colleen was considered the favorite child and thus relieved, uh, received less abuse than her brother. Her parents, Keith and uh, Mary Calgill, are irrational, mystic Christians. They forced their children to attend church and threatened them with eternal damnation should they object to this. If the children were too loud in church, Keith and Mary would shame them. This is all material that comes from Colleen herself. This is her testimony. This is the material that she's feeding to Molyneux. Now, if it is true, why the fuck wouldn't she break from these fucking vile people? And if it's not true, then the moral spotlight falls on her. What kind of a chick is this that would speak this way about her parents and lie about them to, to such a vicious extent. Once again, like if it is true, fuck them. Fuck these people. <laughs> They're vile human beings. And here she is joining up with them again. But it's all Stefan's fault, you see. That's where it's at. When, St when, uh, when uh, Colleen first called into the show, she asked uh, Stefan Molyneux for help. 
uh, the uh, Richard Knitter was listening in. Uh, he must have had long talks with her boyfriend about this. And uh, she came to Stefan Molyneux with these issues. Colleen believes that she was uh, molested as an infant, even as a toddler, and that her parents have kept this as a secret, hoping that uh, she would forget. So that tells you a lot. Already tells you a lot. Now, there's, uh, there's other out sites out there besides FDR uh, Liberated. There's Liberating Minds, which is truly a vile fucking site. And um, Molyneux had something to say about that. And I think that's rather relevant to uh, today's uh, conversation. And to quote Molyneux, um, Liberating Minds is a forum founded and mostly populated by a small number of malcontents who were banned from free domain radio for various uh, dysfunctional and destructive purposes. It, it has literally thousands and thousands of posts written by a few people viciously and personally attacking me and various uh, listeners. Uh, since Liberating Minds is the only website where people endlessly fixate on free domain radio and have for almost 18 months, its members are are almost certainly the source of for articles such as the recent one about free, dom free domain radio in The Guardian, written by Kate Hiltburn. And uh, Stefan quotes uh, one particular malcontent, uh, uh, a Mr. Swinkles, who was uh, first all fixated on uh, Molyneux, and he, he writes, it truly is, it truly, it really is truly amazing, as you say, that somewhere in a dark little corner of the internet there are these people who really seem to just be correct about, well, all about the important aspects of life and science and philosophy, about all the stuff that philosophers and scientists and moralists and theologians and so on have discussed for, milli for millennia. Amazing, but true. And then uh, Molyneux uh, reports uh, that uh, this uh, effusive praise uh, turned into virulent and long-lasting hatred. Uh, Mr. Swinkles was on the message board at Free Domain Radio for about two months, starting in April 2007. and listened to over 700 podcasts during this time. He became increasingly difficult and unpleasant after some ugly interactions between Mr. Swinkles and myself, as well as other listeners, uh, which I was not able to resolve. I asked him to stop posting on the board and closed his account. Unfortunately, Mr. Swinkles did not take this decision very well at all. He founded the Liberating Minds Forum, uh, where he and others who had been uh, banned from Free Domain Radio uh, started viciously attacking me. He began creating uh, fake uh, Free Domain Radio uh, user IDs, picking fights, and so on. He also began uh, using the FDR message system to speak ill of me uh, to my uh, listeners. And over the course of the last few years, I've had to ban about 40 people uh, from the board out of 3,000 members, so a little over 1%. Almost all the people who regularly post on Liberating Minds are people I ban from posting at FDR for reasons which I hope will be clear. Um, I have generally ignored this hate site for almost a year and a half in the hope that they would uh, get tired and bored. I have not engaged in any debates with any of its participants or posted on their site. If a woman broke up with a man and that man saw him uh, and then saw him post uh, personal ugly attacks about her online for over a year with increasing ferocity, this would be a kind of vicious stalking. It would not constitute a viable and objective source of information about the, her personality and choices. And um, uh, a hate site has uh, a hate site is not a source of object of, uh, of uh, objectivity. Excuse me, any more than a viciously anti-Semitic site is a source of objectivity about uh, Jews. So uh, below are some quotes from Liberating Minds. I hope this helps explains why I asked these people to stop posting at FDR uh, and why I describe it as a hate site. And then uh, Molyneux quotes uh, some of the uh, vile vetrol. <laughs> hey, Jew boy, if you hate this threat so much, why don't you go somewhere else where you will be welcomed like Auschwitz? Fuck all of you. So you want to talk shit? Suck my dick, you cockmonglers, ass clowns. I'll rip your heads off and shit down your throats. Anyway, that gives you an idea of some of these <laughs> malcontents. Now, here's the source of all this ugly fucking cult talk and 
uh, Molyneux's is his conniving little fucking silver tongue uh, manipulator. These people are fucking unbalanced, man. These people are, are, are <laughs> they've got emotional problems. Okay, Colleen Cowgill is a deeply disturbed woman. She needs fucking help. These people need to go to therapy. They need help. Colleen wanted to provoke an emotional reaction from her parents. That was the driving factor in her uh, so-called defooing. When her uh, unprincipled expediency failed or no longer served her purposes, she came and accuses Free Domain Radio as a cult. She has made a few videos uh, slandering the community. There, there's no valid arguments there. It's just a, a repetition of cult talk. Just say it enough, or repeat it over and over, maybe some of it will stick. That's the idea here. At first she took an emotional uh, swing at her parents, but the emotionally imbalanced manipulator saw a greater advantage in aligning herself back to her abusive parents and is now coming out swinging at Freedom, Freedom Main Radio. Just like the Swinkler guy, he's all effusive praise. It's like, a, it's like the guy that shot Lennon, you know, he's a Beatles fan for years, gets Lennon to, uh, to sign his album and then shoots him, you know. <laughs> They're fucking disturbed people. But anyway... I'll close off this uh, this video podcast. That's uh, that's good enough to touch on that subject. Victor Pross signing out. Anarchist artist.